I chair the judges for the BP Portrait Award, but I am also a judge. In other words, I am one of the judges, but I take the overall responsibility of the process and making sure that we come to, I hope, a very good conclusion. It's very, very important that every painting is seen in itself, as itself. It may not be for very long, but we see each one. In the first stage, we look at everything, and the judges are simply retaining what will can only be a small number. By and large, they're just retaining something that they think has some special spark, something that has some special interest, something that's brilliant in some particular way, whatever, whatever that is. And we hold those back, knowing that we'll look at them again. We've always made the BP Portrait Awards something that's judged anonymously, which means that we don't know who the artist is. That is the way of making sure that it's an open competition that genuinely allows the best talent to come through. We simply take it to be the quality of the painting as we judge it. We do ask for the title. We may ask, therefore, for the medium, if there's something between you know, acrylic or oil we want to be clear about. What I'm really trying to do is to get the judges to listen to each other, that they may hold strong opinions, but also to listen to the views of the other judges, so that even if they don't agree about why somebody else feels that one's really important, at least they understand it. And that means we can come to a view about which are the best ones for the exhibition and which are the best ones for the prizes, even though that view may not match precisely with the individual view of any one of the individual judges.